Hey everyone, how's it going? So today's video, I'm just going to be doing an updated Filofax uh, planner uh, tour just to kind of show you um, how I have things set up now. A lot of things are similar to uh, as you've seen it before, uh, but it's been a couple months since I made my first uh, Filofax video, so I wanted to update you and show you some things that have changed and just show you what my system looks like now. So uh, I guess let's just go ahead and get started. So opening up the Filofax, um, I keep it, it's pretty similar in the beginning here. Um, I still have uh, the tabs and I still have the different post-it notes that I use throughout uh, my planner. And I still have my uh, little uh, personalized page at the beginning just to make it a little more interesting. still have the same tabs going on the side, so I have to-do, schedule, and projects. Uh, in my to-do, I still... I keep my to-do list there for the week. Um, my schedule, I still keep my work schedule in there. Um, and projects, I currently don't have anything in there. Um, I am in the works of working on a little um, summer project, kind of organizing um, my house and uh, getting it uh, to be a little bit easier for my parents during the summer. So I'm working on that, and I'm going to make another video on that pretty soon. Um, so that's all that stuff has uh, stayed the same. So then once you flip past all the little pockets, um, again, this is still the same. I still have the address uh, papers here. I haven't filled out at those out yet. Um, and I still have the uh, credit card holder with some post-its in it. Uh, so that remained the same. Uh, one of the first things that I did change uh, was the way that I keep track of um, assignments and tests and things like that. So I did go ahead and I bought um, the month at a glance um, insert for the file facts. So I'll show you that now. And I just keep a little uh, binder clip up here just to keep my spot uh, at the current month. So it, it is technically April now, but I haven't switched it yet uh, over from March yet. Um, there's more stuff in March, so I just wanted to uh, leave it here just to show you as an example what it would look like. So uh, this is what the month at a glance insert looks like. So I got this uh, from Filofax probably about a week after I uh, made my first video. So I just find this a lot easier to keep track of my major assignments and projects and tests and exams um, and even when I work as well. Um, I did like how I have it set up um, in the week at a glance. I still do it like that but I just like having this view as well just so I can see things a little bit easier. Um, and this is really just the major stuff. It's not, I don't put uh, my class schedule on here or anything. So this is just, I can look at it quickly and know what I have coming up in the next little while. So for example, um, I have uh, a calculus quiz there, um, uh, calculus midterm, no class here. And as you can see, I still do um, color code uh, according to what it was before. So calculus is green. Um, chemistry is orange, my work schedule uh, is in blue, and uh, no classes in this uh, coral color. So I still do keep the same kind of system. Uh, I'll just flip over to April here just to show you what it looks like. I do plan ahead a little bit. Um, so here are my final exams in April. So my first exam is on the 9th of April, um, and it's biology, so I have that uh, and the time, and it's highlighted in the color that I use for biology, so you kind of get the idea. Um, I just kind of kept it the same uh, as that, as I did before. So then uh, flipping through, um, I still do keep uh, tabs up at the top here uh, to mark the, the current month, uh, just to kind of flip through and find it a lot easier. Um, and I also still keep the um, Today uh, ruler in uh, in its place to mark the, uh, the current day. So um, currently we are in this week. Um, like I said, I haven't uh, changed over anything yet this week. Um, I didn't have class on Monday, so I'm just getting back um, to school and uh, I haven't had time yet to switch over. So that's why the, the today uh, ruler isn't in this spot. Uh, but as you can see, everything is pretty much the same. Um, I mentioned in my first Filofax video that I was going to get uh, the week on two pages, uh, kind of the block, um, the block style with uh, like each day would have a block and then you could write uh, and Saturday and Sunday would be smaller blocks. 
I didn't really like that. I thought that I was going to prefer it a lot more, uh, a lot more over this style, but once I got using um, the the block style, uh, I didn't really like it. I didn't um, with this really. I guess you could really schedule your time a lot easier. It has this time down the side, um, and you're able just to kind of manage your time a lot easier. Like I said. Um, and that just really helped me a lot and when I started using uh, the block schedule kind of planner to plan my day it just wasn't working as well I couldn't really fit in my my schedule and it didn't look as as organized uh, things were kind of all over the place uh, so I really did uh, like this style uh, better for my file of facts and it, it's going to be different for everybody so you may not uh, like this style you may like the one uh, that I just mentioned but uh, for me, I at first I didn't think I was going to like this, and that's why I bought the other uh, insert, but uh, after using it for a few days, I realized that uh, this is the actual um, uh, kind of system that works for me the best. So like I mentioned, I still keep things uh, throughout here, even though I have it in the month at a glance calendar, so I have my exams uh, scheduled on the week at a glance uh, as well. So I keep that the same. Um, probably the next uh, new thing to my file of facts that I have added uh, would be this um, notepad, uh, file of facts notepad. So uh, basically what it is is just a uh, notepad that has the file of facts uh, rings punched out. So you can uh, take notes on it and then um, I'll show you here. You can't take notes on it, but it's still attached to a notepad, so you have to like tear the sheets off. Uh, but I still don't mind that. Um, and then once the uh, what you can tear the sheets off and then insert them anywhere uh, in the um, file facts because it already has the holes punched. Uh, and I really like that. I also got um, another uh, notepad, but it didn't have the holes on the side, so I didn't think that that would work as well. Uh, so I've been using this quite often. Um, so that's another new addition to my file of acts. So then after uh, the notepad, I just have uh, my flyleaf uh, page. And then uh, again, like I have in the original video, just another one of these um, personalized uh, kind of plastic things just to kind of make it a little more interesting. And like I said, I have one at the front and one at the back just to keep everything together. Um, and then the last addition to my file of facts uh, that is newer uh, than the last video you saw uh, would be this uh, insertable uh, plastic bag kind of thing. Uh, it's like a Ziploc bag. Uh, it has a zipper on the side. So that is where I keep my, uh, uh, my little notebook that I keep video ideas for YouTube and uh, blog uh, post ideas for my website and things like that. So it just zippers like that. It's a really sturdy, um, good quality um, pocket. So that's what I keep in here uh, at the moment. Uh, you've seen this before, but uh, that's all I keep in there now. I was planning on putting some highlighters and things in there so I wouldn't always have to uh, take all of them with me when I go places, but it was making the uh, planner a little too thick and it wasn't closing uh, the way I wanted it to. So I just decided to keep this in there. Uh, only for now. Um, I probably will be adding some more things to it uh, as time goes on. But as for now, uh, that's all that I'm keeping in this uh, little pocket right here. So as for the back of the Final Facts, I currently uh, don't have anything in this little pocket uh, inside here. In my previous video, that's where I kept this little green booklet. I kept it in the back here. Uh, so with the addition of this pocket, I just kind of uh, freed myself uh, and have some more space now to add something in there if I want to. So that is basically it for um, the updated uh, file facts tour. I'm sure I will be uh, changing things and adding things and, and taking things out and uh, changing it up. So I will uh, continue to do more uh, file facts uh, tours and showing you how I organize it, um, how my system works, and some ideas that I may uh, have for you uh, to share with you guys. So uh, definitely um, let me know in the comments if you like 
these types of um, planner or agenda uh, organizing videos. I really do enjoy them. Um, you know, organizing is something uh, that I really do uh, enjoy. So uh, let me know if you like these types of videos. Um, but I think that is pretty much it. If you have a file of facts uh, or any other planner, let me know in the bottom uh, in the comments below. And uh, let me know what kind of system you use to organize your things and what works for you. So uh, that's it for this video. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at OrganizedBlake for all the updates. I'm going to uh, filming videos, posting, editing, everything like that, just general updates. Uh, you can also uh, check out my website at OrganizedWithBlake.com. Uh, you can follow me on Pinterest at uh, um, Pinterest.com slash BlakeG28. And I think that's all the links I have for you, but if not, they'll always be in the uh, description below. Um, so once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.